Hey, hope all is well, praying that everybody is safe and in good health as always. Well, I'm back again with another word because I took a nap and the Lord gave me a word for somebody. Somebody has been praying, but you have not been receiving the results of your prayer. And God is saying the reason why you haven't been seeing the results of your prayer is because you pray empty prayers. And secondly, you're not praying and you're not lining your prayers up with his will for your life. And he said that you're going to have to change your prayer style. You're going to have to change change your prayer life and stop saying them same repetition words over and over again. He said, it's time for a change. Increase your prayer life. I don't care if you have to go back to the Our Father prayer and tell him to give you the daily bread. Go back to that versus what you're doing right now. Amen. He says, you being very prideful with the things that you're asking him for and we need to remove the pride. Your heart is not in the right place. Your mind is not in the right place and he want you to line up with his will. Amen. And that's when you will receive the results of your prayer. Amen. He led me to James 4 and I'm just starting at the very first verse and it says, where do wars and fight come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and you covet and cannot obtain. You looking into somebody else's life. You can't wait till God give you that miracle he promised you. He, you can't wait till you hit the lotto so you can make everybody else look broke. You can't wait to boast and brag about how you did things and not God. God said, no, you cannot cover nobody else's thing. You cannot do, be selfish like that. God said, no know he would not allow pride to come into his promise amen so you're gonna have to line that heart up and that mind up with god get in position you're not in the right position for god to bless you anyways it says that you fight and you war yet you do not have you receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your own pleasures so you're going to have to stop asking God amiss it's for you can be selfish with it so you can sit, spend it on your own pleasures. He says, adulterer and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? You want worldly things when you should be asking for heavenly things. Amen. God said, ask him for heavenly things. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy with God. Or do you think that the scripture uh, says this in vain? The spirit who yearns jealousy is within us, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but give grace to the humble. So you're going to have to humble yourself in this season to receive something from God. You can't go before God in pride. You can't go before God complaining about somebody else's life and telling God what they have and what you don't have and what he doing for them that he ain't doing for you. And that's the reason why you have not. But I mean, you, that's why you can't receive his promises is because you going to him with jealousy in your heart, with malice in your heart, with unforgiveness in your heart. You going to him covered in somebody else's things. When you can go to God and pray without bringing nobody else up and what somebody else have, that's when you going to see the results of your prayer. So you're going to have to stop bringing up other folks to God and what he doing for somebody else. He don't care about none of that. You praying empty prayers like that. You ask not because you have not. Um, you have not because you ask not. You're not asking God for the right things. You're not asking God with the right heart posture. Change your heart posture. Change your mind. Change your prayer. That's what you're going to have to do. That's why you're not seeing the results. You got pride in the way of God promise. Remove the pride and humble yourself. And it's so crazy that my little cousin looked up humble the other day and he posted it on Facebook and that boy said he'll never be humble again. And I was going to get on there, but I'm the cousin that I put a prayer graph this long. So I said, you know what? I ain't, I'm just not going to say nothing at all because before there's honor, there's humility. And God is not asking to, for you to shrink around nobody else and i think that's the way he received it when he read the definition but god wants you to humble yourself in his presence because you'll never ever 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 be greater than god amen god don't want you thinking that you're the god that you're manifesting nothing in your life god wants you humble always boast about what God has done and not what yourself has done. Amen. And so I hate he thinking like that right now. And maybe he thinking he got the, you know, shrink in front of other people, but it's not about other people. It's always about God, you and God, your relationship with God, humble yourself in his presence. 
So you wouldn't think that you're God and you're doing anything. He just want the glory and the praise that he deserve. Amen. So remove pride because pride is the very thing that got Lucifer kicked out of heaven. Okay. So we not going to be prideful. Amen. Pride is the fall of the world. So therefore... Get your heart in the right posture and start saying some good prayers. You know what I'm saying? You know what you can do? Start off by saying things like, Lord, forgive me for coming to you with a prideful heart and a pri and prideful prayer. But Lord God, I ask that you remove everything out of my desires that's not in your will for my life and replace it with the desires that you want me to have. And Lord God, I will give glory to your name when I receive these things that you have for me in Jesus' name. And I'll guarantee you, God, to start dropping ideas and dropping good things in your mind. Hold on. I don't know if I said this or not, but somebody been asking God, what is your purpose? Child, you can cook, but God want to make it professionally. Uh, and he want to add some professionalism to your cooking skills. Amen. He, when I was asleep, he, uh, showed me C L C U L I N A R culinary. I think that's how you spell it, but he showed it to me y'all. Uh, <laughs> I know how to spell it, but, uh, C U L I N A R Y sent you to culinary school. God said, go sign up for culinary school. We're not going to worry about, um, no student loans. We're not worried about none of the bit because if God telling you to go, He's going to uh, provide the way, the right resources, financial aid, whatever it is that you need. And y'all, we all have a hard time when we're trying to accomplish something positive. Amen. We already know we are under attack by the enemy because he wants you to feel worthless and helpless and that God don't love you. He wants you to feel all those things. So you're going to have an attack while you're trying to do what the Lord telling you to do. Amen. And anything easy ain't worth having in a way. So therefore, be ready to be challenged in this season and keep going no matter what in Jesus' name. Keep going, no matter what, in Jesus' name. And yesterday, when I was in class, he just tying all this stuff up all together now. Yesterday, when I was in class, he told me to pay attention to my instructor. And he gave the assignment. He said, we don't have a test for another two weeks, you all. And these are the things that we're going to be going over. So two weeks of class, we ain't got no assignment due this week, but we have one due next week. Two weeks of class. And God was pointing out to me that the instructor is not going to be there going over those um, PowerPoints every day with us. He's not going to be telling us to study. He's not going to be telling us what to study. He gave us something to do and he left us with it for two weeks. It's up to us to study the assignment and receive what we're supposed to and be ready for that test. And God is saying, some of y'all who feeling and battling and feeling like you don't feel the Lord, God said, he have already gave you the assignment. And he told you to pray without ceasing. He told you to study his word. And he told you to worship him. Amen. So he already gave you the assignment. And the assignment isn't due just yet, but it's up to you to study. It's up to you to want to receive the A. Amen. So therefore get your study on do the last thing that god told you to do he left you with the assignment amen so get up and do what it takes get up and study do what it takes to make an a when the time come the test is not yet but y'all know the test is gonna come and you can be very much prepared when the test do come with his word with the directions he gave you with the instructions with the god amen so therefore pick up your word and start studying before the test do come in the mighty name of Jesus because he giving you PowerPoints every day of you will just pick up his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, you all, I think I done covered three things. I covered that somebody uh, purpose is culinary art schools. You can cook child and he added professionalism to your cooking skills. Secondly, your prayers wasn't getting answered because you was asking a miss and because you had pride mixed up in his promise and he wasn't having that. Amen. And three, God is saying prepare for the test right now. He done gave you the instructions. He done gave you the whole PowerPoint. Amen. In Jesus name. Well, you all, that's all the word I have for now, but I can guarantee you I'll be back with another word because there's some things that God had to, told me to share with y'all. Like it's two, two more videos that I need to make. But anyways, y'all pray for me and I pray for y'all. Remember that the Lord loves you and so do I. God bless.